The unforgiving servant's Lord was wroth with that unforgiving servant and delivered him to the tormentors till he should pay all that was due. Likewise shall also my skyly father do to you if ye forgive not every one his brother from your hearts. Matai chapter 19 And it was when Yeshua had finished these words, he departed from the Galilee and came into the borders of the Judea beyond the Jordan. And great multitudes followed him, and he healed them there. And there came to him Parishaya, testing him, and saying, Is it lawful for a man to put away his woman for any reason? And he answered and said, Have ye not read that he who made them from the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall cleave to his woman, and the two shall become one flesh. So that they are no more two, but one flesh. What therefore the God yoked together, let not man be separating or keeping separate. They say to him, Why then did Moshe command to give a bill of divorcement and to put her away? He saith to them, Moshe, for your hardness of heart, allowed you to put away your women, but from the beginning it hath not been so. And I am saying to you, Whosoever shall put away his woman, not on account of sexual sin, and shall marry another, is committing ongoing adultery. The disciples say to him, If thus is the case of the man with the woman, it is not expedient to marry. But he said to them, Not all men can receive this saying, but they to whom it is given. For there are eunuchs that were so born from their mother's womb, and there are eunuchs that were made eunuchs by men, and there are eunuchs that made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of the sky's sake. He that is able to receive it, let him receive it. Then were there brought to him little children, that he should lay his hands on them and pray. And the disciples rebuked them. But Yeshua said, Allow the little children, and forbid them not to come to me, for of such is the kingdom of the skies. And he laid his hands on them and departed thence. And behold, one came to him and said, Teacher, what good thing shall I do that I may have eonic life? And he said to him, Why askest thou me concerning that which is good? One there is who is good. But if thou wouldst enter into life, keep the commands. He saith to him, Which? And Yeshua said, Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Honour thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt mindfully love thy neighbour as thyself. The young man saith to him, All these things have I observed, what lack I yet? Yeshua said to him, If thou wouldst be complete, go, sell that which thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in skies, and come, follow me. But when the young man heard the saying, 
he went away sorrowful, for he was one that had great possessions. And Yeshua said to his disciples, Amen, I am saying to you, it is hard for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of the skies. And again I am saying to you, it is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of the God. And when the disciples heard it, they were astonished exceedingly, saying, Who then can be saved? And Yeshua, looking upon them, said to them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Then answered Petro and said to him, Lo, we have left all and followed thee. What therefore shall be for us? And Yeshua said to them, Amen, I am saying to you, that ye who have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of the Man shall sit on the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Yishrael. And every one that hath left houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit eonic life. But many shall be last that are first, and first that are last. For the kingdom of the skies is like a man that was a householder, who went out early in the morning, and at the third hour, and at the sixth hour, and at the ninth hour, and at the eleventh hour, to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when they had worked, he gave each one a single denarius.